Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are taking a look at a, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cold. As a, uh, you know, a dad of three young children, when they have a cold, you get a cold. Dad life. All right. So, as I was saying, uh, we are taking a look at a uh, passion project today. This is from Sean Collins. Uh, he is actually sponsored by uh, Chunk Ease, whatever those counterweights. Um, yeah, so he does a lot of 5A stuff. And uh, this is his own sort of passion project. This is called the Autopilot. So we're gonna get into that. So let's get into that. Sean uh, reached out to me and was like, hey, can you take a look at uh, this yo-yo I designed? And I was like, yeah, I love doing that kind of stuff. You know, a lot of uh, this channel is focused on boutique companies and, you know, just kind of like, you know, oftentimes, you know, passion projects like this. I've done a number of these kind of things over the years. So I love taking a look at what somebody's kind of just gone out there and done it and uh, designed a yo-yo and is, is uh, trying to make a name for themselves in the the uh, yo-yo game, okay? I don't know if he's gonna be starting a company. I don't know if there's gonna be anything more after this, if this is just gonna be kind of a one and done. I don't know how many are gonna be in the run. I don't know any of that stuff, uh, but I will have in the link Sean's uh, Instagram, all that stuff, where you can find more information about him and this project. Uh, this might be the first time you're hearing about it. Even looking on his uh, Instagram, I don't see too many things out there about this yo-yo. So again, this is the Autopilot. Uh, it's a uh, H-shaped yo-yo, for sure. Um, it's very much in that uh, category. Uh, comes in this sort of like prototype blue, <laughs> right? I, I like that, uh, you know, design though. It's really nice and comfortable H-shape, you know, nice and rounded uh, on the rims there. Nice and open wide gap there. Uh, it does kind of have like a little extra step, so it's not just kind of like boom, you know, just kind of curve in. Um, it has a little bit more of a, just a little bit of flair, but nothing drastic under the design. If you looked at the profile of this, you probably would see a bunch of different yo-yos um, and, and probably not sure what yo-yo you're looking at exactly. But here's where it gets a little bit different. Um, I, I can see here a little bit of, uh, man, what, what's... Um, Hmm, 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 maybe word, maybe there's something from there, maybe there's, I don't know, there's, there's, there's some influence there, I think, uh, from some more mid-school uh, companies, word or, um, darn, I don't even know, uh, something, something like that, maybe, uh, I, I can, I don't know, I, I, I feel like the design of this general, gen in general, rather, uh, it, it's kind of like, a, I don't know, it's, it's not as, modern as I would like say I, I could put this go you like 10 years ago which I think is not a bad thing I, I think that's good um but a lot of like I don't know that cup design just kind of has a very reminiscent feel so it does have a spike there it kind of concaves in a little bit um but the spike's short but it's sharp enough and because it concaves in um you'll still be able to matador with it um, and do pull starts and that kind of thing. So it's kind of unique in that way. It's not, again, not a very large spike at all. And so even if you want to finger spin, you shouldn't, like it really shouldn't get in the way um, and actually kind of almost center into that kind of little mini bowl that you have there. No IRG there that you can really feel. If you wanted to, you could kind of tilt that in. A uh, nice blast on there as well. Um, really kind of standard, but a nice matte blast. And uh, it's going to be really nice for uh, finger uh, grinds as well and actually you have lots of room there and, uh, and I think it's gonna balance really well so nice nice and like beefy rims there uh, exactly what you would expect for an H shape yo-yo so overall I, I really like the clean design of it I think um, that spike and, and the, the hub design does kind of set it apart a little bit more profile kind of it, it looks like a lot of yo-yos I've seen that's not a bad thing um, but but that it's the, it's the hub design. It's that spike in particular that if you looked at this yo-yo and you're familiar enough, you'd be like, oh, that's the autopilot. That's what you want, right? I feel like there's, a, I don't know, I've talked about that with a little bit, a few yo-yos recently, right? Where it's like, there's just a little extra something that gives it 
a visual sort of like mark, right? To say, this is this yo-yo, right? You don't want it to be cookie cutter, certainly, but it's really difficult to kind of reinvent the wheel. Now, I will say he did give me a B-grade version of this, and it is B-grade for smoothness. So right away, I would give this probably a seven or eight out of 10. Uh, there will be A grades, but uh, yeah, full disclosure there, this is a B grade for smoothness. Let's go play it. All right, welcome back to the uh, on the string section with the autopilot uh, passion project from Sean Collins. Uh, again, I don't know if he's starting a company. It probably maybe depends on how successful this yo-yo is. You never know, right? Stranger things have happened. So H-shape yo-yo, really decent for grinds. Now, like I said, it is a B grade for uh, that smoothness. So I can definitely feel it on a grind there. Really feel the vibe at all on the string. So I don't really think it's a concern that we should have as far as an actual like, you know, quality review. You can definitely tell this is more of a performance yo-yo. Uh, really nice balance there. Has really solid spin times for a mono metal as well. But yeah, really nice and balanced yo-yo. The gap on that is uh, is really nice. Uh, you can get quite a few string wraps without it feeling like it's slowing down. So yeah, nice and snappy bind still. You know what it reminds me of? I don't know why, but like, I'm I'm, I'm not even sure what yo-yo would be, but like. In the, do you remember Big Brother yo-yos, like, back forever ago? Like, during the time of, like, String Burn Live and all that stuff, man. Woo, I'm aging myself. Okay, but I don't know. It feels like that kind of yo-yo in that sort of era, right? Uh, again, I kind of like that. So if maybe you've been yo-yoing for a while, and I don't know how long Sean has been, you know, throwing here, but it definitely feels like that kind of mid-school sort of feel. Uh, the gap is maybe a little bit more modern, but, man... That design, definitely reminiscent of something. I, I'm, I guess I'm not, I can't quite pinpoint it exactly what yo-yo it reminds me of, but something within one of those yo-yos in that sort of like 10, 15 years ago sort of world. Man, whew, crazy. And maybe it's just kind of a unintentional thing. I, I, it probably is. Um, and it's maybe just my imagination more than anything. Uh, but yeah, I, I can see that. All right, so I said uh, that those spikes uh, are sharp enough. I do wish they were just a little bit longer, but they're, they're long enough. I just have to be a little bit more careful. So if I'm wanting to go ahead and you know do a, a pull start or something like that, I can certainly do that without any problem. I just have to be completely aware of it. Uh, as far as horizontal and off the plane kind of stuff, it's going to succeed very well. You know, you could expect that from this shape. So yeah, really nice as far as like mono metal competition, lots of rim weight, nice and wide gap there. So really gonna be great to hit the gap easily. Um, good spin times as well. Uh, again, it's a really nice clean design. Do you know that trick, lasso? It's been, I mean, it's been around forever. So if you don't know that trick and you're curious of learning it, let me give you some tips. Uh, first off, you're gonna get into a trapeze. And what's gonna happen here is you're gonna kind of throw the slack of the of the string around that way okay actually oh i just kind of nodded it accidentally <laughs> let me go ahead and pull that out here all right so what's going to happen is it's going to land into a gt and it's going to land up like that okay so i missed that intentionally but that's how it's going to be okay so it's you're kind of swinging this around like this and you're creating that sort of cross motion there that the yo-yo is going to then fall into so it looks like this in full motion like that all right, so uh, one tip here is to not kind of, don't throw the yo-yo re like really high. That was like obnoxiously high. Like not like an Eli hop, you know? You don't want to throw it too high because the closer you have it to the string, the less likely you're going to miss it, right? Um, to kind of come into the, uh, you know, into the GT there. All right, to get out of it, you're just going to pop to the front and, uh, and the bind. But yeah, so you don't want to kind of like, woo, way over, you know, you don't want to throw it crazy high. Um, that that's kind of a helpful tip and you want to kind of keep that really, you know Quick, all right, so you what, see what I did there. I, uh, I missed the front string there And so I went right through the pocket there and then uh, if I dropped out of that I would have had a knot You don't want that 
but that's what you want. Nice and kind of, whew. All right, I'll, I'll show you a little slow motion of that really quick, and then uh, we'll move on. All right, well, thanks for uh, putting up with my, uh, my um, Barry White uh, voice here today. Good job on this design here, Sean. I, I, I like how clean it is. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's unique enough. I, again, I think the, the hub design really gives it sort of that extra pop, you know, that punch that, uh, that I think you want for this um, to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. But who doesn't like a good, comfortable H-shaped yo-yo? Nice and comfortable in the hand. Uh, has all that rim weight and balance that you want and longer spin time. So it's a really great performance shape. Uh, it's also gonna be really good for 5A, which I don't do really. So, um, you know, but you can see Sean's take on that. Um, and again, I'll have his link in the description, but uh, his Instagram and all that. But definitely be on the lookout for this. Uh, I've seen it in one other colorway, like a fade of some sort. So I don't know of any other colors as far as this one, uh, but yeah, that's, that's it for the autopilot. And until the next one, later.